welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the heresies that have surfaced throughout the history of the Church, and today we'll talk about monophysitism. During the time of Nestorianism, there was a man named Eutyches who was an archimandrite, a sort of arch-abbot who worked at a monastery outside Constantinople. He was first really noticed at the First Council of Ephesus, where he firmly and passionately opposed the teachings of Nestorius. Nestorius, remember, didn't think that Mary should be thought of as the mother of God because, in his view, Mary had only given birth to the human nature of Jesus. This was denounced as a heresy because it separated the human and divine natures of Jesus. Eutyches, however, believed almost exactly the opposite, that Jesus was a fusion of human and divine elements. According to him, Jesus didn't have two natures, human and divine, which were perfectly united, but only a single nature, which contained the fullness of both human and divine natures, like a sort of man-god. However, on this view, it was impossible to clearly state that Jesus was fully human or fully God in the traditional sense. For this reason, Domnus II of Antioch accused Eutyches of heresy, and his heresy came to be known as monophysitism, which roughly translates into single-naturism. Well, it's been a long series of 5th century heresies to get through, but next time we'll be skipping forward in time again by another couple of hundred years to pay a visit to the iconoclasts. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.